With Sagittarius in the fifth house, this is gonna be someone who is probably loves to learn in their free time. You love philosophy, you love things that enrich your mind and, and immerses yourself in like philosophies and like books and, and different cultures. You probably really love to travel. You will probably also love people from a different culture than your own. So if you are from the South, you're gonna love someone from the North. If you are from the West, you're gonna love someone from the far east and i mean like overseas like you're gonna want this is like gives me very much like interracial relationships vibes where it's like you do not want to mingle or um congregate with what you are used to you want to venture out into like far out unknown lands where you can like learn things from other people because you already feel like you have your culture down you know what to expect with your culture you know what is around the corner you know the ins and outs of your own culture and so what entices you and excites you is other cultures and and being around people who are not like you or from where you are and so yeah that's gonna be fifth house sagittarius you're gonna date someone who is not from your culture you probably love to learn about philosophy and new things and um and other parts of the world you probably also really love to travel as well and you are probably someone that also loves to be away from home. You, growing up, probably were always away from home and really, really valued freedom. Like, freedom was a really big thing for you. Um, so, with, let's see, with Sagittarius is the ninth sign to Capricorn in the fifth house is going to be someone who success is a hobby for you like you love to climb the social ladder of success and you probably love to work and want to make work and play the same thing like you for you work is play and work is fun and work is how you exude your creativity you're probably very very creative in your your field or in your job um because the two are one like work and play are one and the same for you so you're probably in a job that requires you to play or you're in a in a job that like i have a friend that has capricorn in the fifth house and she works in the nightlife like in the nightlife in like club life and like she supplies the bars with alcohols and things like that so again does that make sense so it's like you see how she her job is in a place where it's fun it's like what normal people would do for fun she's working in that environment of fun and providing the fun for people but it's her job so yeah that is capricorn fifth house it is probably also as fun as it is for others it's probably very painstaking for you it's going to require a lot of like long hours for you and like long days for you and it's probably very hard it teaches you a lot of lessons because saturn is ruling that fifth house energy so yeah all right and it's also going to take you a long time to cultivate what you feel is fun for you like your creativity is probably very like deep in there and it's going to require over time you will learn to loosen the reins and find comfort in just sitting back and having fun like because for you fun is work and so if you're gonna have fun it's like i better get paid for it but you will learn over time to just have fun and like let go and that will come with age and that will come with time wherever saturn is he delays but he never restricts. So he will restrict you having fun growing up, but as you get older, you will learn little by little how to let go and how to have more and more fun as you get older. So that is Capricorn in the fifth house. With Aquarius in the fifth house, this is gonna be someone who, for you, you probably love to learn about like inventions or technology, or you love to go back and forth with people on what can make the world a better place. You're probably also very detached from your fun as well. Like for you, you probably don't know what excites you or what gets a spark going inside of you, but you do know that you love to learn and be creative in the realm of invention and technology or marketing or something on the internet. Um, yeah, and with, with your sex, you're also probably very detached. Like unless you are with someone who is very weird or very strange you probably go for very strange people or strange characters or this gives me very much like bisexual or even gay relationships because aquarius is ruled by uranus and saturn and wherever uranus is uranus is very 
by, if that makes sense. It's, yeah. So you love very androgynous, weird people, and you probably go for people who are very emotionally detached from you because you are very emotionally detached from your comfort, I mean, from your creativity and from your, your romantic expression. So, yeah, that's Aquarius in the fifth house. With, with, with Pisces in the fifth house, you are going to be someone who, um, you probably love to be spiritual and creative in your hobbies and in your creativity. You are also probably someone who, um, dating is probably very hard for you because you don't really get it. Wherever Pisces is, Pisces makes things very nebulous. Like you don't really understand what this concept is of maybe dating or having fun. You do know that when you do date, it's almost as if things just happen. Like people come out of nowhere and it's the strangest people that you probably feel you need to save or like you need to take care of or you need to sacrifice yourself for. Like it's gonna be very much vibes like that. Like, um, and on a higher octave, you are gonna attract people or go for people who are very artistic and spiritual on the higher octave. If you are a healed, evolved individual, you're gonna be vibrating at the higher octave of these signs and these energies. And so at the higher octave, you will be um, attracting people who are spiritual and creative because you are that way when you express your creativity. You are very um, spiritual and creative. And so, yeah, you will be that way as a mother as well. You will probably be very creative and spiritual towards your children um, or, or a father. So yeah, that was my fifth house through the sign series. If anyone needs a birth chart reading or cosmotherapy or a destiny or love reading, hit my links below and I would be happy to help you. My name is Jupiter James and I'll see y'all on the next video. Y'all have a good one, okay?